So for the first time in a long while, the Yankees have seven prospects, seven players in the top 100 baseball prospects. And there's only two teams that have that right now, the Orioles and the Yankees. Orioles have more in the top 50, but the Yankees have seven prospects. So it just goes to show you how well they've been drafting and scouting. So now it doesn't speak much to their high payroll and not getting as much value as their payroll at the major league level, but it goes to show you that things uh, there are things to look forward to in the future. So let me give you these guys. And by the way, I'll have more stuff for you, um, a lot more stuff. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that right now. And uh, that way you don't miss anything when it comes to the Yankees. But, so Oswald Peraza is number 57. Chase Hampton, 58. Jason Dominguez, 64. Everson Pereira, 79. Austin Wells, 85. Spencer Jones, 86. And Roderick Arias, 97. So, and I'm going to, I imagine that as these guys get a little bit older and keep developing, there's going to be more guys in the top 50, that's for sure. And uh, so, seven right now in the top 100 prospects of baseball. That's pretty good. And again, the Yankees haven't had this many in a while. So, this is some good stuff. It really, really is some good stuff. I think Jackson Holiday, I think, is the number one overall prospect. He was in the one draft pick for the Baltimore Orioles. He's already murdering. <laughs> The minor leagues, and uh, so to his credit, he's a great player. But um, seven in the tops in the top hundred, I'll take that. You know, I want to know what you think. Uh, are they missing anybody? You think some of these guys should be higher? I mean, you know, Volpe, the Volpe experiment worked. He made it to the top five, made it to the major leagues. He's adjusting to the major leagues, doing okay. His batting average will go up eventually, um, but he's. You know, getting his opportunity. I hope Oswald Peraza gets an opportunity too at some point. And Everson Pereira is uh, somebody that's ex exciting the Yankees, who sounds like he's going to be called up to the major leagues this year, as well as Jason Dominguez are going to be brought up to AAA. So we're hearing some things. We're hearing some things. So that's a good thing. But um, then Austin Wells, another good looking prospect that's at AAA now. He could be the catcher of the future. He really could. And Spencer Jones could be one of the outfielders of the future. And Roderick Garris is projected to be one of the better shortstops that come through the system in a long time. So a lot of things to look forward to. Lots of things. So hoping that the Yankees do better in terms of, you know, at the major these guys get to the major league level, <laughs> can, can continue to develop them, show them how to do the Yankee way in the major league, at the major league level. And then I think that I, they, maybe they're trying to find out what the new – what the Yankee way is going to be now. I mean, it sounds to me as if they're trying to find a new, a little bit of a new identity here. And I do think they need to lean on leaders like Garrett Cole and, and Aaron judge and build around these guys with some high character players, some hungry players and all these guys. So I'm hoping that's something the Yankees do, but seven in the top 100 gang hasn't been that way in a long time. Let me know what you think. Talk to you next time.